Hey everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, we are going to see how we can send captured credentials by the Evilgenx to the Telegram, uh, email or Discord server. Okay. So without wasting time, let's get started. So in order to start with the tutorial, you need a Evilgenx server ready first. Okay. So I'm assuming you have the Evilgenx setup already. So in my case, the Evilgenx is set up right here already. If you don't know how to set up Evilgenx, we have a separate video on that. Check it and then come here. Okay. So let me do ls right here. Can you see my Evilgenix is there? Let me start the Evilgenix. So if I say dot slash Evilgenix and it will start the Evilgenix. So can you see I have the some fishlet also and it's unable. So this is the first fishlet we are going to use. Okay. So let me just type the lowers and let me check the URL. So we will say lowers get dash URL and zero. So this is the phishing link we are going to use. Okay. So let's go to the next step now let me open the new terminal and here we are going to set up our evilgenix monitor so that it will detect the credentials uh, or whatever the new sessions are coming and it will send to the telegram or discord okay so let's do one thing let's create uh, right here ls and i it's up to us uh, how like where i should put the files but i'm going just going to create the uh, test folder so that everything will be separated okay so let me just go inside the test folder and do ls can you see nothing is there now we need to download the source code for the tool so for that i will provide the link in the description so this is the link fluxet evilgenix monitor is the name of the tool so you need to click on the uh, code right here and let's the copy okay so once it is copied you can come here and you can say git clone and the paste that particular code right here or link right here so once you paste, then you can do ls and go inside the folder using the CD. If you do ls right here inside the folder, can you see the evilgenix monitor file is already there. So you can say dot slash evilgenix monitor and it will start working. But I will suggest that before doing that, do a go build because in case if there is any update in the source code then it will build the latest binary okay so once the go build is done you can say dot slash evilgenix monitor and it will start the evilgenix monitor now we need to configure the evilgenix monitor so for that let's type the help right here and it will show us the configuration options so these are the commands to configure the telegram bot these are the commands to configure the email and these are the commands to configure the discord bot okay now for this particular demonstration, I'm going to use the telegram bot only. So let me just check the telegram bot command. Now the first thing is we need to configure the telegram token. So it looks like the command is tele uh, then token and then the token value. But before going to the token, the first question is where we can get the token. So let me show you how. So this is my telegram account right here. And what you can do is once you are here, you can type bot father. Okay. You can say bot father. So this is the account we need to access. So this is the bot where we can create our own bot. Okay. So let me just click on the start and it will show me options like this. So I can say new bot to create bot or my bots to see existing bot. So let me click on the new bot. So I'll say a new bot. Okay. And I will enter. So it is asking now tell me the bot name. What you need to set the bot name. So once I type the bot name right here it will uh, generate the bot token and give it to you. Okay, so that's the bot token we are going to use. But in my case, I have already lot of bots. Okay, so what I will do, I'll just say uh, my bots. Okay, and I have few bots. So I'll select this report 21 bot. I will click on that particular bot and I'll ask for the API token. Okay, so this will give me the API token and that's the token I'm going to use. Okay. What you can do is minimize this particular browser window. So let me just minimize this browser window. Go back here and say ten a uh, token, okay? And paste the whatever the bot token that you have captured, okay? Like xxx. You can just paste that bot token right here, okay? In my case, I have already done that because I don't want to uh, expose my bot token in this particular video, okay? So once the bot token is uh, configured, next thing is a chat ID. So how we can configure the chat ID? You can say tele chat ID and then paste the chat ID right here. But how you will come to know what is your chat ID? Okay, there is interestingly, there is one more bot to do that. 
you can just type go here and type chat id and this is the bot we need to check so once i click on the this one it will give me my own chat id okay can you see this is the my chat id so let me just copy that particular chat id and go back to my terminal right here and i'll paste that particular chat id okay so once i paste the chat id it will update in the configuration okay now chat id is also set up now final thing is we need to enable the telegram bot so we can say tele bot enable okay and enter and it will say the command is not found why it looks like i entered something else so let me say tele uh, enable okay so that's the command and it says configuration updated successfully and it's enabled okay now we have telegram bot enabled so there is one more thing not only chat id of personal user you can enter the chat id of the group also okay so in my case what i did is i entered the chat id of my personal account okay so i can add that chat id also or what i can do is i can create a group add the bot and that particular group and copy that particular chat id also okay that also i can do that it's up to us which chat id i want to use i can use this one or i can use the chat id of my group also okay uh let me just uh, do one thing let me minimize the browser window and next thing we need to do is we need to set the uh, our db file okay so can you see this is the command to set the db file so by default it takes the db file which is at slash root dot evilgenix and db file dot db okay so that's the default path of the db file so by default it's already taking that particular path but in case you have different path then what you can do is you can say db file and then you can say path and then you can enter the path right here so it can be anything so in my case it is slash root slash dot uh, evilgenix uh, slash db or data dot db data dot db that's my path how you can check that you can check by clicking on the new tab and you can go to the cd dot evilgenix and do ls and can you see the data.db is there so i can just say pwd and this is the path slash root dot evilgenix data.db okay so in my case it's already set up but anyway let me set up one more time so let me just uh, paste my file path right here let me just paste my time say data.db okay that's the path in your case path might be different okay now final thing is we need to start the monitoring so i'll just say start to start the monitoring and it is saying already monitoring that particular file great now next thing we need to do is we need to go to the our uh, browser and enter the phishing link to see if the credentials are getting captured or not now what i will do i will use this firefox browser to enter my phishing link right here and then i will use my this particular telegram side by side to monitor if i am getting the message or not okay now let me just copy my phishing link from here so what was my phishing link let me go back to the evil genix by the way my evil genix is also running here let's copy the evil genix link go here and let's paste it now uh, this page might get a little bit uh, slow because i am using this proxy right here to hide my ip address but anyway now let me click on the sign in right here so let's go here and let's click on the login and it should show me the login page now i have created a fake account for demonstration so let me just uh, get that particular account so this is the email for the account let me just paste that email and this is the password for that particular account now as soon as i click on the sign in it should send that particular capture credentials to the telegram so let's see let me click on the sign in uh, and can you see okay i got the message right here so it says report bot so if i click on the report bot can you see it is saying session information the username is this one the password is this one the landing url is this one the session id or whatever the cookie is captured is this one in my case i have a small cookie only one cookie but in your case you might get a lot of cookies uh, then user agent remote address and whatever it is so everything is there okay now so this is how you can use this particular bot to get alerts on the telegram whenever there is a captured session the same way you can use for the email also the same way you can use for the discord also the only thing is you need to uh, configure accordingly now 
here is a one pro tip so this tool is new and it might have some bug so in the configuration if you are any facing like any issue while setting the configuration then what you can do is you can set the configuration manually let me show you how so let me open my vs code once again can you see the uh, uh, the evil genix is also showing the credentials are captured okay so let me just minimize this particular window right here and can you see right here there is a folder called dot evil genix more uh, monitor so in that particular folder we have all configurations that we have done so what we can do is we can just click on this particular folder and can you see we have telegram chat id then we have telegram token then we have telegram status and everything so if you having like hard time configuring from the terminal then what you can do is you can just manually add the telegram token and telegram chat id right here whatever the necessary things are and then click on the telegram true you can add the telegram true and click on the save the file and once the file is saved you can just go back right here exit from the monitoring program so let me show you so exit from the monitoring program and restart the monitoring program that's it that's all you need to do okay but do only in that case when the this terminal thing is not working okay you can just set the manually everything uh, the all credentials and you can start uh, using the bot as it is okay now how to keep the bot running forever in the background okay once the all configurations are done what you can do is you can start the screen session okay i'll say screen and i'll say dash capital yes and i'll say tele bot okay because this is my telegram bot or you can say monitor okay you can say monitor okay i'll say monitor so let me click on the enter and it will clear all terminal and give me one terminal now here if i do ls can you see the files are there so i can say dot slash evilgenix monitor and it will start the evilgenix monitor once the evilgenix monitor has been started you can click on the control a d and that will send that particular session in the background now if you close your vps if you close everything if you close your terminal also then also it will run in the background and what if you want to access again then what you can do is you can say screen s c r e e n dash r and you can say monitor okay and that should give you access back again okay so yeah that's all about in this particular video if you have any doubt please let me know and i will provide link in the description for this particular bot and apart from this i have evil genix course where i am teaching everything about the evil genix from the beginner to the advanced level make sure that you click on the link in the description so that you will check the details of the evil genix course and it's pretty much cheap so you can get from there okay thanks for watching and see you in the next